Hey, Boston Celtics fans! Before we dive into today's exciting news, make sure to subscribe to Boston Celtics News Today fans for all the latest updates and exclusive content. Now, let's get into it! Chris Tapp's Porzingis injury update, what it means for the Celtics. A recent report from ESPN has provided an update on the status of Chris Tapp's Porzingis ahead of the upcoming conference finals. The news is mixed for Celtics fans, as Porzingis is likely to miss the first two games of the series. However, barring any setbacks, he is expected to return later in the series. Porzingis has been sidelined since April 29th after suffering a soleus calf strain in the middle of Game 5 of the first round against the Miami Heat. Recovery Timeline and Status Update The Celtics are set to face the winner of the Knicks Pacers series, which has gone to Game 7 and will be played on Sunday at 3.30 p.m. Regardless of who wins, the Celtics will play Game 1 of the Eastern Conference Finals on Tuesday night. A few days after the initial injury, Chris Haynes provided an update stating that Porzingis is expected to return during the conference finals. While he didn't explicitly say this, Haynes' original report suggested that Porzingis would be back for the start of the Eastern Conference Finals. Bringing Porzingis back a few games later than originally expected isn't a big deal in the grand scheme of things. Crucially, Haynes' report provided the clearest timeline we had. Typically, a first-degree soleus calf strain takes one to three weeks to recover, while second-degree strains take three to six weeks to heal. By missing the first two games of the conference finals, Porzingis will be just over the three-week mark. Notably, Giannis Antetokounmpo missed just over three weeks due to the same injury. This suggests that Porzingis likely suffered between a first and second degree strain. However, he appears to be progressing on a normal timeline. This update also comes with several reports that Porzingis has been making good progress and actively increasing his basketball activities. Porzingis has been training with the team since May 8th. Overall, these are very positive signs for Porzingis and the Celtics. The value of getting Porzingis back. It goes without saying that Porzingis has proven to be extremely valuable for the Celtics on both ends of the court. Porzingis is an efficient inside scorer, a lob threat with high-level floor spacing and shot-blocking abilities. Ultimately, he is one of the team's most important players and someone they likely can't win a title without. Most likely, the Celtics won't need Porzingis to get past the injury-riddled Knicks or the Young Pacers. However, they will absolutely need him for a potential finals matchup, regardless of who comes out of the West. All four remaining teams in the West would be by far the biggest challenge the Celtics have faced in this year's playoffs. Porzingis' services are particularly needed against the size and length of the Nuggets or the Timberwolves. As a result, the true importance of bringing Porzingis back for the next round is not only to win the series, but also to ensure he is fully ready for the finals. Given Porzingis' injury history, the Celtics shouldn't rush him back for Game 3 if he's not ready. However, if Porzingis is in good basketball shape, the Celtics should play him so he can gain momentum for a potential final showdown. The ESPN report makes a Game 3 return seem quite likely. In the end, all signs point to Porzingis returning in the Eastern Conference Finals, whether in Game 3 or later in the series. What do you think? Celtics fans, what are your thoughts on this? Do you think Chris Tapp's Porzingis should be rushed back, or should the team play it safe? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to Boston Celtics News Today fans for more updates and exclusive content.